Okay, today we're going to learn how to find the percent using percent bar models. Make sure that you have your notes with you. Pause the video when necessary so that you can stay caught up in your notes. If you don't have your notes, then just do it on notebook paper. Okay, in a survey of 50 people at Scoop's Ice Cream Shop, 10 people said their favorite ice cream flavor was vanilla. What percent of the people said that their favorite flavor was vanilla? Okay, so there's usually three different parts to a percent problem. The first one is the part. The second is the whole or the total amount. And then the third part is going to be the percent amount. And it's good for you to identify what information you know or what you're given from the problem and what you're trying to find. So if I go back to my question, it asks me what percent of the people said that their favorite flavor was vanilla. So we're looking for the percent. This is what we're trying to find. And this percent is going to represent those that like vanilla. So if we go back to the numbers that we are given, in a survey of 50 people, that's how many total people that were surveyed. So that is your whole. And then 10 people said that their favorite flavor was vanilla. So that is your part. 10 people preferred the vanilla flavor. And it's really important that your percent and your part match, that they're describing the same thing. And they are, they're both describing the number of people that chose or preferred vanilla as their ice cream favor, flavor. Okay, so there's not really a lot for you to do in your notes on this other than just to kind of go through the steps with me on how we can use percent bar models. Step one is to draw the bar. Okay, it's like a fraction bar. We want to include our labels, our zeros, and our whole amounts. The label along the top of the bar should represent the percent, and the label along the bottom bar depends on what the problem is about. Okay, you can switch that up. It doesn't have to be percent on the top. It could be percent on the bottom. But I'm going to try to keep everything uniform, and I'm just going to do percent on the top. Okay, so if I were to shade none of the bar, what percent would be shaded? Zero percent. So that goes right here at the beginning of the bar, on the edge of the bar, on the left side. If I were to shade the whole bar, then I would have shaded 100% of the bar. So that goes on the right side. And then what is the problem talking about? It's talking about people surveyed, the whole, 50 people surveyed. So if I shade none of the bar, that represents zero people. If I shade the whole bar, that re represents the whole number of people, which is 50 people. Okay, step two. We're going to partition the bar by dividing it into 10 pieces. So here's your bar. We divided it into 10 equal parts. You could do other parts, but we found that 10 is the easiest to work with. Uh, it makes it really easy for dividing up your numbers, which is what we're going to do in step three. We're going to divide the whole amount, which is 50, into 10 equal parts, and we'll label it along the bottom. So 50 divided by 10 is 5, so each part represents 5 people. We're going to do the same thing to the percent. 100% divided by 10 equals 10%, so each part represents 10%, and then the 50 divided by 10 is the 5 down here. And now you're ready to solve this step four. We're going to use the part of the people that said vanilla was their favorite flavor, which was the 10 people, to find the percent. So we come down here and say, okay, 10 people preferred vanilla. So the first part represents five people. The second part represents another five, which equals a total of 10 people. So the first two parts represent 10 people. And what percent is this? Well, you just go up to your percent bar and it's 20%. Then you write your answer statement. 20% of the people said their favorite flavor was vanilla. Okay, now let's use all of the steps and let's solve some problems. The first one, in a fruit survey, 180 out of 300 students chose apples as their favorite fruit. What percent, this is what we're looking for, what percent of the students chose apples as their favorite fruit? Okay, so the percent is what we're looking for, 
And what does it represent? It represents those that chose the apples. Okay, coming back, let's identify the part in the whole. 180 out of 300. So this out of 300 students, this is the whole. So it's 300 students. And then the part, the 180, is the apple part, the, those that chose apples. Do your part and your percents describe the same thing? Yes, they both describe apples. Okay, so we're ready to do step one. We've got the bar already drawn for us. We want to put our labels. So the top, we're going to put 0% on the left and 100% goes on the right. And the bottom is going to be what we're talking about. We're talking about students survey. So 0% would be 0 students. And 100% would be 300 students, the total number of students surveyed. Step two, we're going to partition the bar by dividing it into 10 equal parts. And I found that the easiest way to do this is to draw a line in the center, and it doesn't have to be perfect, and then draw four lines in front of it. One, two, three, four, and four lines behind it. One, two, three, four. Step three, we're going to divide the whole amount, the 300, into our 10 equal parts. So 300 divided by 10 equals 30. So each part is 30. I like to write it inside the boxes, show that each is 30. And I'm going to do my percents. Here's 10%. 20%, 30 percent, 40 percent, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, and then we have the 100 percent. Okay, pause it if you need to so that you can get all of this written down. And we're ready for the fourth step, which we're going to use the part, the 180, the preferred apples, to find the percent. So we need to figure out how many parts make 180? Well, here's 30, plus 30 more is 60, plus 30 more is 90, plus 30 more is 120, plus 30 more is 150, plus 30 more is 180. So we can stop right here. So this part, right here, the shaded part, and you can use a highlighter if you want to to shade this represents 180 students that chose apples. And what percent is this? Well, if I go straight up, we're at 60%. So what percent of the students chose apples is their favorite? 60% chose apples. And that's all there is to it. So now is a good time for you to reflect upon what we just did to solve this problem. So pause the video, go through all of the steps to make sure you understand. If you don't, go back and rewatch it. And then when you're ready, move on to the next example. Okay, next example. A coin is tossed 200 times and lands on tails 70 times. What percent of the tosses landed on tails? So the question is asking what percent, that's what we're looking for, what percent landed on tails? So the percent we're looking for is that of the tails. We know the coin is tossed 200 times, and then it lands on tails 70 times. So the part is the 70. The whole is going to be the 200 tosses. And the 70 represents the number of times it lands on tails. OK, check. Does your part and your percent represent the same thing? Yes, they both represent tails. So we're ready to go on. Okay, step one is we're going to draw our percent bar, which is drawn for us, and let's label it. We're going to go from 0% all the way to 100%. And what we're talking about is the number of tosses. So we go from zero tosses to what is the total number of tosses, the whole amount, 200 tosses. And now we're ready to partition our bar into 10 equal parts. We're going to first cut it in half 
and then four lines before and four lines after. And then we're going to divide the total, the whole amount, 200 into 10 parts, which is going to equal 20. So each part is 20. So I like to label those inside. And then label your percents. Each part is 10%. Thirty percent, forty percent, fifty percent, sixty percent, seventy percent, eighty, and ninety percent. And the hundred's already there. And our last step is to use the part to find the percent. So the part that we know that's tails is seventy. So if I go and I add up my parts, here's twenty plus another twenty makes forty plus twenty more is sixty plus twenty more is eighty. But we want seventy. Where would 70 fall? It would fall halfway between 60 and 80. So I can cut this into half, and this would be 10 and 10, and that would make you 20. So the part that's going to represent 70 would be all of this. 20 plus 20 is 40, plus 20 is 60, plus 10 would make our 70. And what percent is that? Well, if I go straight up, what's halfway between 30% and 40%? 35%. So the answer statement, answer your question, what percent of the tosses landed on tails? 35% landed on tails. Okay, again, reflect on how we solve this problem. Pause the video if needed. This was different than the first because we had to find, we had to cut it into half here. When you're ready, move on to the next problem. Okay, our last example. A bag contains seven red marbles, 14 blue marbles, and the rest are yellow. If there are 70 total marbles in the bag, what percent are yellow? So we're looking for the percent again, and we're looking for the percent that's yellow. Okay, we know the total. There are 70 total marbles, so that's our whole amount. If we're looking for the percent that's yellow, we need to know the number of marbles that are yellow. And are we given that information? Well, we're told that there's seven red, and 14 blue and the rest are yellow. We're not actually given it. Sometimes you have to do a little work to find the information that you want. We can find how many are yellow. We can add up the red and the blue, 7 plus 14 is 21, and subtract that from the total because everything else is going to be yellow. So we're going to have to borrow 10 minus 1 is 9, 6 minus 2 is 4. So 49 of the marbles are yellow check. Do the part and the percent describe the same thing? Yes, they both describe yellow. Now we're ready to do our model. So let's go ahead and start with our labels. 0% all the way to 100%. And what are we talking about here? What is the whole describing? It's describing marbles. So we go from 0 marbles to a total of 70 marbles. Then we're going to do our partition cut it into half. We'll do four lines before. One, two, three, four. Four lines after. And we're ready to label. So 100%, 100 divided by 10 equals 10. So each part represents 10%. So there are the percents. And do our marbles the same way, divide it by 10 and equal 7. So each part is going to be 7 marbles. And now we're ready to use 
the yellow part to find the yellow percent. We're looking for 49. So this is going to be 7, 14, 21, 28, add 7 more makes 35, 42, and 49. So we are looking for this is going to equal 49. So these are all yellow. So what percent is yellow? If I go straight up for my 49, it's at 70%. So my answer statement would be 70% are yellow marbles. Okay, now you're ready for your independent practice. Good luck.